Hello beautiful people, welcome to Grey and Crochet. My name is Mads and I spent too much money at Spotlight. If you're in a city that does not have a Spotlight, it's basically a really large craft store. They sell things like yarn, fabrics, um, and other things like party supplies and home decor. If you're in the States, it might be similar to your Michaels or Joann's. Um, but yeah, that's the store that I have local to me. Um, and is usually where I buy most of my yarn because it's just convenient. Um, and yeah, I spent $101.30 on yarn. <laughs> Outrageous. I know, I'm an addict. <laughs> but I am just super excited because it was a great price. Um, I got it on sale and I just thought I'd show you. Um, I will also, later in the video, um, tell you all the prices as well as give you some tips on how you can get a good deal at Spotlight. Um, and I just want to say before I do show you this yarn, I purchased all of the yarn myself. Um, so I, it's my money, I paid for it. Um, I'm not sponsored by Spotlight, it wasn't gifted to me or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to try a new yarn, I've never used these brands before. Um, and yeah, so let's get to the yarn. <laughs> so I do apologize in advance before I show this to you. Um, there's not going to be a great variety of color or brands. Um, I bought these yarns to use in larger projects, so a couple of them are the same brand, just different colors, because I intend to use them in one larger project. Um, and there is a third brand and color in there, which will be used for a second project. So basically, all of this yarn I'm thinking of using in two projects, <laughs> outrageous, I know, for $100, but that is the nature of yarn prices these days, so <laughs> let's get to it. So the first yarn that I've got is, and I apologize if it is backwards, um, it looks backwards from what I can see on camera. Um, it's the Mora Vera Kosh Cotton Blend. Um, so this is 87% cotton and 13% nylon. It's kind of like an off-white um, cream kind of color, not really like a super bright white. There is 200 meters in a 100 gram skein of yarn. It is DK weight, so it is quite thin, um, but that is usually my preferred um, weight of yarn, so I don't really mind too much. So I got 10 balls of these. I know, crazy. Um, and I will tell you all the prices later. I'll just show you the yarn for now. So I've got 10 individually <laughs> packed balls. I really did wish that they would pack some of these as big packs, which they did. They gave me one large pack. Um, but if you've ever visited a Spotlight store in person, they do usually have packs of yarns that you can buy all in the same dye lot. So that's kind of what I expected. Um, and I will show you the different dye lots that I did get later. I don't really notice much of a difference in the different dye lots, but I will still show it to you because I know it is important. Um, so yeah, 10 balls of the vanilla. I've got the same brand, um, but in Ocean. So same specs, 87% um, cotton and 13% nylon, 100 gram skein um, and 200 meters. Again, it's a DK weight. Um, it is kind of like a tealy color. It is quite nice, the blue. It is quite soft. Um, I wouldn't mind making a garment out of it. It doesn't feel like I would expect cotton to feel like. I did, I haven't worked with cotton much, um, but it's a little bit fuzzy. I'm not sure if you can see. It's kind of got a little bit of fuzz in it, which looks a little bit odd for cotton, because um, cotton is usually quite defined in my, from what I've observed. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. I would definitely use it in a garment project or as a blanket. I think it's fine for babies. There are softer yarns out there, so, um, you know, it really depends on how fussy you are with softness for baby products. Um, but yeah, I would definitely use it for a baby project. It's quite soft. So I got 11 skins of this. It's quite a lot. <laughs> I apologize as I unpack them, 11 skates. And the final yarn that I did get, also from Motivera, this is 
Mono Vera's Shadow Yarn. Um, it is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. It is a 100 gram skein, similar to the other one, and it is 209 meters in a ball, so a little bit more than the last one. There are a few different shades of yellow in here. They go from like light to dark. There is some little bits of like brownie yellow. It's not super bright. It's quite like a muted kind of yellow. Um, but yeah, it's very pretty, very subtle. So I got 15 skeins of this, <laughs> which is a lot, I know. Um, one thing about these yarns, which if you look at it compared to the other one, is it seems a little bit more loosely packed, like the yarn is falling out of the label, whereas this one, it kind of looks a bit neater. Um, I'm not really sure why, whether it was just this particular batch, but they all kind of sit very loosely in this cane. So I've got some that look quite messy, which I don't mind because I'm going to use it fairly quickly <laughs> anyways. Um, but like this one, for example, like there's yarn falling down, like it doesn't really bother me too much, but um, it might bother some people. So I thought I'd point that out. This I find is way softer, well not way softer, but a bit softer um, than the Kosh cotton blend. Even though this one does have less cotton in it and cotton is usually quite soft, um, this one is actually a touch softer than the Kosh cotton blend. It's more silky. This one does feel a little bit, um, I don't know if grippy is the right word, the cotton blend. Um, the shadow yarn is quite soft compared to it. They're both very similar in softness, so don't listen to me. <laughs> and then this is the only pack of yarn that I did get. It is a five pack, they're all the same dye lot. I did wish I had more of them um, come in this way because the yarn in this does look a little bit neater than the way the yarn came individually wrapped. And that's just because it's packed really loosely into its um, label which isn't that big of a deal um, but yeah it might be a big deal to some people so it's just that I let you know of course if you do buy in person you can pick out the packs to get all of the same dialog I ordered online so I didn't really have that choice um, but yeah I'll show you all the dialogs now um, I wasn't too upset about it so <laughs> let's go have a look so here's all 36 of my yarns um, so I got one dye lot of white, which I'm super happy about. Whoever packed it did a brilliant job because that's the one I was most concerned about because white is quite noticeable um, when they are in different dye lots. I wasn't too worried about the rest, um, but I did get three different dye lots of the ocean and the yellow print, um, which I don't really mind. Um, so yeah, there is one of them did come with a little bit of ripped um, label. But again, I don't really mind. I'm going to use it, so I don't really care about it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the dialogues turned out. Sorry, Socks decided to join me. So, um, so yeah, that was a 36 skeins of yarn for $101.30, which is a great deal in my opinion. Socks, do you want to say hi? No, he just wants cuddles. Hey, you want to say hi? Say hi to everyone. No, you don't want to say hi. Um, so full price both the shadow yarn and the kosh cotton blend are nine dollars a skein which is for a hundred gram ball um 200 meters to 209 meters depending on the brand um which in my opinion is quite expensive but that is the price of yarn nowadays <laughs> he's just gonna block the view the entire time hey <laughs> sorry about that he loves attention hmm? especially from people you can get scratches he will stay with you forever. <laughs> um, so when I did buy them, they were on sale for $6.30 skin, which is pretty good. Um, they also did have a VIP sale going on. VIP is basically the um, loyalty brand kind of thing. Um, it's free to join and you do get some perks from it. So um, they did have a VIP sale going for buy five for $15, which is 
great because that's three dollars a skein compared to full price at nine dollars a skein winning like how could you pass up that deal um so that's what i bought so i did buy 36 skeins of yarn so i did pay um six dollars thirty for one of them and the rest was basically three dollars a skein because i bought five for fifteen dollars um so full price and i apologize i'm looking away from the camera i'm just looking at how much um everything costed so full price at nine dollars a skein these 36 skeins of yarn would have been $324, which is ridiculous for 36 skeins of yarn, in my opinion. Expensive is very subjective. To me, that is super expensive. <laughs> um, sale price, so at $6.30, if you weren't a VIP member, you would have paid $226.80 for 36 skeins of yarn. Um, and the VIP sale, would have been $111.30 but I did have a $10 off voucher that I'd used for this purchase so I ended up only paying $101.30 and the best part about Spotlight in my opinion <laughs> because again I love saving money um, purchases over $100 I qualify for um, free shipping sorry um, so I did not have to pay shipping I got 36 skeins of yarn for basically $101.30, which is less than $3 a ball. Um, let me just check the actual math. So with all the sales and discounts and my $10 voucher and everything like that, I did end up paying just $2.81 for one 100 gram skein of yarn, which is so good compared to its original price of $9. That is saving of over $200, I believe. Yep, $222.70. Down from $324 to $101.30, which is great in my opinion. I mean, why would you spend full price on yarn if you can get it on sale, right? Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed looking at the yarn with me. I know there wasn't a lot of variety. I am planning larger projects with them. So just some tips on how you can save money at Spotlight. Now this is just my opinion um, and things that I've just observed from being on the Spotlight website every other week because I am a yarn addict. Um, so there might be other tips that you're aware of. Please pop them in the comments below. Um, if you can help other people save money, why not do that, right? <laughs> um, so my first tip is to buy discount or um, mill end yarns so spotlight have um hot buys which are basically like the lowest price item um in a particular category for yarn that is um simcoe stallion i believe is the brand it's 100 grams and you pay two dollars 25 for one skein of yarn which is quite a good deal for acrylic yarn um i mean i haven't really found yarn that's much cheaper than that in australia if you do know please let me know because i would love to know um but it is quite cheap it never usually goes on sale because it is like the lowest price item um and millions are also quite a good deal you do get 400 grams um of yarn for 12 dollars. that's what they currently retail at i believe prices might go up if you're watching this in the future as it always does <laughs> but you get 400 grams um of yarn for 12 dollars and sometimes if you're really good with identifying brands you might be able to find branded yarns in the melon bins um for a steal for example my local spotlight always has um their spot saver yarns which is like they're just normal acrylic worsted weight like saver yarn they usually retail for twelve dollars for a 200 gram skein um i often see millen bags for that exact yarn like two of those in one bag so 400 grams um in millens the colors might just be slightly different but there's actually nothing wrong with them um they're still perfectly good yarn so you can often get like two bags for um twelve dollars instead of 18 if you're buying that spot saver in that example um and millen sometimes do go on sale as well i think i've seen them as low as seven dollars twenty so you could get two bags of that for less than one skin of yarn normally which is great um so you might be able to find different brands of yarn i know people have found i think it's like 
Papusia is what it's called, um, which is a brand of yarn we get here in Australia. I'm not really sure if you get it anywhere else in the world if you're watching from overseas. Um, I'm pretty sure people have found that in melon bags. You can find heaps of fun things. Um, it's sort of like a mystery adventure. Now, this tip obviously might not apply to everyone, depending on the project you're doing. You might want a specific yarn, you might not want to use acrylic yarn. For example, if you're making a baby project, you want to ensure that the yarn that you're getting is super soft and hypoallergenic and things like that. So melons might not work for you. Um, but if you don't really care too much about the fiber um, of the yarn, um, these are great options and a great way to save money. My second tip is to buy things on sale. Now, this is fairly obvious. Um, it's a great way to save money. I never buy yarn at full price, um, but it's something to consider. Um, Spotlight do have sales every week, if not every other week, um, on different brands of yarns. Um, so if you can, do hold out on buying the yarn that you want until there's a sale on. Just keep monitoring their website. Um, I believe they do update their catalogs on a Wednesday. Um, so every Wednesday, I think the deals change. So you can keep looking at their website every Wednesday or Thursday or whatever day that you want. Um, just to see if the yarn that you want is on sale and then you can snatch it up for a deal. My third tip is to become a VIP member. So VIP is like Spotlight's um, loyalty program. Unlike typical loyalty programs, you don't really get points for spending money with them um, that then you can use to get discounts. It's sort of just like an even playing field. So no matter how much money you spend at Spotlight, um, everyone who's a VIP gets offered the same kind of deal. So you get things like VIP only sales, which is what I used to buy this for $3 a skein instead of $9 a skein, which is great um they do also sometimes give you vouchers for money off or like a certain percent off um like i think currently they have one um where it's 40 percent off a full price item i like using that for buying stuffing for amigurumi because that's like 27 dollars for a one kilo bag it can get quite pricey um so that's a great way for you to use um the VIP program to try and save money for more expensive items. Um, a few weeks ago, they also did have, um, if you spend $100, get $40 off. And they also had VIP only sales going then. So I bought a heap of yarn on the VIP only sale for like way cheaper than the normal full price. And I ended up using that voucher to get basically like more than $100 worth of yarn for $60, which is great. Um, so you can definitely couple those VIP benefits with other sales to get even better. So thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking at the yarn and talking yarn with me. Um, if you have any um, tips on saving money at Spotlight, please leave it in the comments below. Also let me know what your favorite brand of yarn is at Spotlight. Um, I'm fairly new to the crochet world, so <laughs> I, I'm still learning a lot about yarns and where you can find good deals and things like that, so I would love to know. So leave me a comment um, and let me know below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.